What is going on then guys? So I know I said I was only going to be showing you three of the best apps, but there's just too many good ones and I didn't want to leave out some of the good ones that would really help as well. So in the end, I think there's nine different ones I'm going to be showing you. And the first one then is Looks Photo Reviews. And what this app does then is it helps you build social proof for your website, for your products, which ultimately then will lead 100% will lead to more sales. The more good reviews you have of a product, the more likely somebody is to trust you and actually trust that product and actually buy it yourself. Just think, when you're shopping on Amazon yourself, you always look at the reviews to see if it's a good product. And if it is a good product and you want that product, then the chances are you're gonna buy it. So this is exactly what this app does. Of all the ones I've used, and this is the one I implement in all of my own stores, just because I like the way it lays out. And you can pretty much set it on autopilot as well. You can set different rules and then just let it go. And then you pretty much don't have to do anything. What what I really, really like about this one as well is that it lets you respond to customer reviews. So even if somebody does leave a bad review, which is probably going to happen if we're drop shipping, then you can actually reply to reviews which will be public on your store as well. So anybody then coming on who sees the bad review can see the fact that you've replied to it. And as long as you reply to it in a decent and professional way, then it kind of overwrites the fact that it's a bad review. As long as you deal with it correctly, then people will appreciate that and probably it will build your rapport and your reputation with your customer even more. So just to kind of illustrate then how it would look on your store. If we just click view example store, uh, let's have a look. Just go for any product. And if we scroll to the bottom, so this is the app here. It starts pretty much here. What you see on the screen then is what will be displayed on your store. And as you can see, it's just really like neat, tidy, professional looking, um, quite modern as well. And people can use images as well, which is key. Again, it's just a great way of building up social proof on your stores. Moving on to number two then, which is Conversio. And anybody who's been on Shopify for a while will know this previously was called Receiptful and it changed its names. And what I use this then primarily for is editing the sales confirmation email. So when somebody places an order on your store, they get sent a confirmation email. And what this app does then is it lets you edit that email and put certain things on there. So anybody will know then who's been in e-com for any sort of time will tell you that the cost of acquiring a new customer is a lot more expensive and a lot more difficult in fact than getting somebody who's already purchased with you to purchase again. And this is where this app comes in handy then. What you can do then is customize that email and put different things on that email to help people. So one thing you can do is you can gather feedback as you can see here, so you can get an idea from your customers then whether they're getting a, p a positive response or negative. You can also send them different custom like discount and coupon codes to encourage them to come back to your store um, and buy something else. And you can also advertise other products on that email as well. So if they've bought say an LED dog color, you can send them similar items to that saying like, hey, we noticed you bought this LED dog collar. Why not get the LED dog lead to match it? Oh, and by the way, because you've purchased with us already, here's a 20% off discount code. It's just a great way to try and get people back onto your store um, to spend even more money. Um, so that's number two then, which is called Conversio. Moving on to number three then, which is Frequently Bought Together. And this is a really, really good app. I recommend everybody has this and make sure you implement it properly. What it does is if I can try and find like an example, it will put this at the bottom or you can choose where to put it on your product page and what it does is it advertises other products that people buy at the same time. So again, going back to the LED dog collar example, somebody could be on that product page and then below it would be the LED dog collar here, it could be an LED dog lead here and then the third thing could be like a treat bag, an LED treat bag or something um, and it's just a great way of combining similar products, creating bundle offers and what you can do as well is that if you can set certain rules. So if people buy three products, then they'll get say 30% off. But if they only buy two products, they only get 20% off. So it just encourages people to buy more products, spend more money, and as a result, they'll get a bigger reward uh, by getting a bigger discount. Moving on to the next one then, we have a handy little app called Consistent Cart. And what I really like about this one then is that you can set up different email sequences. And once they're set up, then it's pretty much fully automated. So you pretty much just have recurring revenue coming in um, every month and you don't have to do anything extra. So it's, it's almost 
almost like free money. So just to illustrate then, there's a couple of different sequences you can do. So you can do abandoned carts, which are obviously crucial. If people are adding things to cart and getting to that point where they're adding in their details as well, then it could be any number of reasons why they haven't completed the checkout. It could be they've got a phone call, they've got to go back to work, they've got a text message, Facebook, whatever it is. So sending them little reminders about that is definitely gonna bring them back onto store uh, to complete that. And other things as well that you can do, you can send certain messages. So if people do import that information, then you can send them happy birthday emails, which is quite a cool little personal touch you can do. People will feel like you care about them and it's really personalized to them. And you can offer like a unique discount code to them purely because it's just their birthday. And then also what you can do, which is similar to Conversio, but I prefer the kind of customizations and the reporting of Conversio is that you can send customer welcome emails as well. So when somebody's purchased with you, it's a lot easier to customize through this. But the key kind of like the biggest thing about this app that I like the most is this activity monitor because the more information you can get on customers and their behaviors, then the better you can tailor your sequences and pretty much just anything to kind of make sure it's optimized in the best way possible. So when you set up, say for example, abandoned cart emails, there's an example here, it will tell you at what point the customer clicks on your email, whether they actually decide and to actually go through and complete the purchase or not. And when you have that information, then you can tailor what you put in the emails at what point you offer a discount code. So for example, then if you find that say 70% of people are coming back and completing on the second email, then there's no point really in offering a discount code in that first or second email because there's a high percentage of people coming back anyway. Whereas if you find that a lot of people are exiting even after the first email, then you obviously need to try and increase that percentage. So offering a discount code might be a good way to do that if that makes sense. Any questions by the way on any of these apps, whatever it is, um, obviously just feel free, leave a comment down below in the comment section and um, I do get back to every single person. Moving on then, easy messenger live chat. This is a really good way because because we're businesses, quite small businesses in the grand scheme of things, nobody really knows who we are. So when people come onto our stores, they are gonna have hesitations, they're gonna have questions. So this is a great way to kind of answer those questions because if people do have questions and they're not quite sure about anything, the chances are they won't ask you, they'll just kind of leave and might even try and find the product somewhere else. So if you offer a live chat option, then you can entice people into striking up that conversation with you answering their questions, putting any kind of concerns they have to bed. And again, it's a great way to offer an incentive to buy something there. And then you can actually offer them discount codes while you're talking to them. So just to kind of illustrate how it works. Um, in fact, let's have a look at the example store. You'll get like a little pop-up in the bottom right hand corner once it loads, so as this is, and you can set like the custom message. So instead of, hi, how can we help you? It could be um, any concerns about anything or not sure about anything, then how can we help? Now, one thing to mention is that if you do integrate this option, then make sure that the chat is only live when you have access to answer people's questions pretty much immediately. One thing to note about this app as well, or pretty much at any interaction with the customer, is try and talk to them like a human, be like a human being, and actually build up that relationship. So. If it's a Friday, then ask them what their plans are for the weekend. Tell, say to them, have a good weekend. Or if it's Monday, did say to them, did you have a good weekend? The more rapport and like the better relationship you can have with a customer, the more likely they are to buy from you. It's just proven if you go into a shop and somebody shows an interest in your life and makes you feel good and they're friendly, then you're more likely to help them out. You're more likely to buy from them. Um, so just be professional and be friendly and be a human being. Moving on to the next one is just a must have app for any Shopify store, whether it's a one product store, niche store, general store, whatever it is, is an upsell app. It doesn't have to be this one. This is just personally the one I use. Um, and it is pretty much just free money. Like at the, I think the max plan is like $50 a month, depending on how many people see your upsell. But believe me, as long as you choose a good upsell product that is similar to the original product that somebody's buying, then it's just gonna be free money coming in. And again, it's fully automated. One thing about dropshipping is that the profit margins aren't great. So the more we can maximize on our average order values, then the better. And this is one app that is probably the easiest way to do that, just to show you how it works. Show example store. If there's one app that you install from this list, by the way, just make sure it's this one. 
<clears throat> so click add to cart and then this pop-up comes up um, to pretty much suggest similar products. So again, going back to the LED dog color, I did it in my previous store. I've documented it in previous videos. When somebody added, when somebody had added an LED dog color to cart, once they click checkout, then a pop-up like this would come. You can change where the location of the pop-up is. It can be when you click add to cart or it can be when you click checkout. And then a little pop-up would come and say, um, double down on your safety at night with this LED dog lead. And the two together just go really well, obviously. And I think the conversion rate was something like 43%, 45%, which is really high. And I was charging £20 per lead. So every four in 10 customers was buying a £20 lead as well. So um, really, really profitable. And trust me, you will make your money back uh, tenfold with pretty much any upsell app, as long as it's a decent one and you've got a decent upsell product. Moving on to the next one then is all about social proof. So going back to that point where people don't know who we are, they're not quite sure, they probably don't really trust us. Um, this is a great way of kind of breaking down those barriers. And what it does then is just to show you an example is little pop-ups in the bottom left corner. You can customize it as well. You can choose whether to show it on mobile or just desktop. And it just pops up to say that somebody has just bought a particular product and it's just a great way of putting any concerns to bed that the customer might be potentially having because if they see somebody else buying a product on your store then it builds that social proof and like I said it breaks down any barriers if they see other people buying then they'll feel more at ease at buying as well if that makes sense. Moving on to the next one then, second to last, which is this free shipping bar by Hexton. 100% a must have on every store. It's really customizable as well, which is what I really like about it, is the fact you can change the colors. Just to show you as an example, these are all the different customizations you can have. Um, so there's loads and loads of different backgrounds. You can change the fonts, whatever it is, and you can choose what text to put in as well. So it gives you different templates and you can advertise free shipping. You can advertise different discount codes. If it's Christmas, you can advertise the cutoff for delivery dates. Um, it's just a great way of giving your customer information that they might not otherwise have had. So typically then day to day on just a normal day on my stores, I'll just advertise the fact that everything is free shipping. Um, and it's just a good thing to tell your customers. Moving on to the final one then, which is Herify. Now there's a bit of controversy about this app because of whether it's ethical or not. And if I, I don't use this app all year round, I only use it for things like Black Friday or Cyber Monday or certain Christmas offers. Now, believe me, it does work. And there's actually some science behind this, creating urgency within your customer and creating that FOMO, so fear of missing out. It does really work 100%. It will increase your conversion rate. Um, at points, it would increase, especially around times like Black Friday, in those final few hours, it would increase conversion rates by anywhere up to 10%. It really does make that much of a difference. But like I said, in fact, just to show you how it works, so you could, there's different timers like this. I believe there's about a dozen different designs you can play from. And then again, you can choose different colors, different fonts, etc. Um, but like I said, make sure you use it ethically. If somebody keeps coming onto your store and seeing a countdown timer and this keeps resetting back to that same amount of time or you've still got the same amount of units in stock, then people will soon find out what you're doing and it just looks really bad. So don't do it. People will start to leave comments on social media as well. Um, so yeah, it is a good app. Just make sure you use it ethically at the right time of year. And if you're offering say 30% for a limited amount of time, make sure it is only for that limited amount of time. Make sure it goes back to that original price after that. So that being said then guys, I think that's all nine or 10 apps. Can't really remember, I didn't really count. If you're still watching the video, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, if you learned some of these new apps, if you've never seen one of these before, please do me a favor and leave a like on the video. And if you do use any of these, then I'd love to hear how you get on with them, whether they make, do make an effect on your stores, I'm sure they will. Um, so make sure you come back and leave a comment down below as well. And that being said then guys, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe by the way, I've got two more videos coming at the weekend. I always upload every Saturday and Sunday and they're all gonna be based around Facebook ads and testing and scaling. So if you do wanna see those, make sure you subscribe as well. And that being said then, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next one.